All right, hi everyone. My name is Alex Coulomb. I'm the creative director of Agile and Immersive Design, and today we are going to get started with Magic Leap. I find that very exciting, don't you? And uh, for those who haven't already gone through the basic steps, I'll run through these pretty quick as you can YouTube or search for other tutorials that get you through these first few steps, but you're gonna wanna start by going to creator.magicleap.com, signing up for an account, and then once you have one, you'll go to downloads and Pretty much, as far as I know, no matter what you click on here, it's going to give you the same thing, the package manager. So when you download and install the package manager, that's all pretty straightforward. Hope I don't have to go through that. You're going to be able to open up Magic Leap Package Manager. And you'll give your email. And as far as I know right now, every single time you sign in, you'll need to get a new secret code. And once that logs in, uh, you'll see I've already installed a bunch of stuff. If you have not installed stuff yet, pretty much I would just go ahead and hit all these checkboxes. I mean, if you're only going to focus on Unity or Unreal, um, you know, just do these ones. The Unity Editor one, um, you're going to actually install that in the browser. Same thing with the Unreal Engine one. You click Download Installer. It's literally just going to take you to the standard Epic Games installer. And if you already have Unreal Engine, then you probably already have that installed. But everything else you can just kind of click download and install. Definitely want those examples, everything up here. And then at Epic Games, uh, if you don't see this, literally all you're gonna do is hit that little plus up there. And if I hadn't already installed this, I would see down at the bottom, it would say Magic Leap. So you'd click that and install it. And then after that installs, along with any other engine versions you have right now, you have Magic Leap Early Access. And so uh, we're going to be following along with one of the tutorials that are, are pretty straightforward. You can find it in the Learn tab, Getting Started with Unreal Engine. And we'll just add in a couple little flavor packages for, for color as we go. I don't know why I'm calling them flavor packages. We'll pretty much conform to this. So the first thing you're going to want to do, once everything's installed, is we're going to want to set the path of our SDK. Now, if you just follow the defaults, Magic Leap gets installed in your users folder. Mine is over here, LSDK. So this path, this is the path you're going to want to be doing stuff with. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to need to find this file inside wherever you installed the Magic Leap uh, Unreal Engine version, and then you'll just add this setting. So what that looks like, Spoiler alert, I already did this. Magic Leap EA, engine, config, base engine, edit that in notepad or whatever. And so you're just finding that Magic Leap SDK, so you probably just type in MLS and that'll bring it up. Yeah, there it is. So you'll see I already inserted it. Um, if you hadn't, already done what I'm teaching you to do right now, it would look like that. So you just paste the path into there like that. So make sure you don't just do the MLSDK folder, make sure you actually do the folder with the actual SDK files in it, which right now is 0.11.1. .1. Okay, so far so good. Close that, make sure you save it. And now um, there's a couple things we could do. We could open up the examples file, um, or we could create a new one. Uh, in fact, you know what, I'll show you this real quick. So there's already like a project set up here. And uh, the first thing you would do after you set up the SDK path location, you could right click and do generate Visual Studio project files. I already did that. That's what that solution file is. And you could actually do quite a lot of stuff with this, but I'll just show you how to um, create a file from scratch. And just so you know, you can actually just copy over the content folder from examples into a new file and pretty much get everything you need uh, from this package. Oh, and also I've gotten some weird crashes um, in Unreal Engine when I'm not running the remote yet. And so the remote you'll see is just kind of a simulator that lets us, uh, you know, pretend that we have a Magic Leap device, even if we don't yet. And so back up in Magic Leap, if you go into MLSDK, and you go to virtual device, 
in bin and UI front end, find that ML remote executable file. So just have that running um, before you open up Unreal. I find that that <laughs> causes the least likely chance of a crash and make sure you hit start simulator. I'm pretty sure start device would be if you actually had a real uh, Magic Leap going. And if you actually do have one and you can press start device, I'm super jealous of you, but I'm gonna hit start simulator. Great, so we got a little guy in here. Now we can get um, Unreal Engine opening. We'll go launch. And while that's warming up, um, this is, you know, your pretty standard game controls to move around in here. You can use the right mouse clicker to rotate around. You can use the WASD keys. Uh, and in fact, there's a whole little guide right here. Tells you some stuff, different things you can do. And yeah, this is a pretty empty thing right now. Uh, so we might want to turn this into a room. And the easiest way to do that is we'll say this, load virtual room. Because, you know, the whole idea with Magic Leap, uh, as far as I understand from some of the GDC talks, is that you want to start thinking about the objects that might be in a particular space as the, you know, ingredients in an experience. And so you can start to simulate that either with a room that you actually have or a potential room that someone might use your experience in. And so if you load virtual room, uh, there's actually some by default in this path, the MLSDK, SDK, virtual device data, virtual rooms, example rooms. You could also, just a fun fact, uh, you might have seen as we were passing by the virtual remote um, and virtual device bin virtual room generator. Uh, you're not going to see it that way. Open a new window. There's actually an executable that lets you generate virtual rooms. You can fool around with that if you want. I'm not going to play with it at the moment, uh, but it's kind of fun. But yeah, under virtual device data, virtual rooms, example rooms, there's just a few simple ones here. So I'm just going to choose dining room and that just loads up. And we got some furniture looking fine. If you wanted to, you could move some stuff around. Again, feels kind of like Unity. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go new project. Uh, make sure you have it set to blank. I'm gonna call this Magic Leap Test. And uh, you know, I like to do starter content. It just gives you more stuff to fool around with. You don't have to if you want this all to load faster. Do create project. Okay, and here we go. We got a basic scene loading up. We got our starter content, um, but you know what? Just to, to start really simple, let's just do, well, yeah, let's just pretend that you didn't do starter content. So we're gonna say it's a new blank level. So if we have an empty level, this is basically what the tutorial wants you to do. You can drag a cube in. Put it wherever you want. And then just get a light in there. Sure. And then what we need to do for setting up the project is you're going to see when you go to project settings, there's a few new uh, tabs, I guess you could say. We have Magic Leap, Magic Leap SDK under platforms, and then also Magic Leap plugin over here. So Magic Leap SDK, we're going to want to make sure we put in the same path we put in before. This one here. Copy, paste, make sure it you know, goes to the right spot. And then, um, yeah, I mean, you know, if you're going to be doing stuff with audio and all that, you could set this up. Don't actually worry about that, though. Uh, yeah, we don't really have to worry about any of this stuff right now. And then, really, the only other thing is Magic Leap Plugin. You want to say Enable Zero Iteration. And so we can check that. And yes, we are going to have to restart, so that's fine. We can save this map. Save it as cube or something. Save. Restart now. Okay, and now with our cube map loaded back up, all you want to do is make sure you're hitting VR preview. And hopefully you see your cube somewhere. And then go back over to your simulator. And hey, look, it's a little white cube hanging out in the space. 
All right, now if you don't see your cube, uh, the easiest thing to do is just make something bigger, right? So let's add, for example, another one <laughs> and just maybe make it super large. Maybe give it a different material, help it stand out more. Or whatever, clay, brick, sure. Now if we press play, yeah, see it there? And there it is there. Oh, there we go. Oh, and it loads in real time. How about that? So you see we're getting uh, a limited field of view, which I guess prepares you for um, the, uh, I guess, VHS tape-sized magically field of view, as I've heard. Now, if you're using a different scene, say that starter scene, or, you know, another map you imported, let's take a look at this minimal default scene. Now, watch what happens if I try to press play with this one. See, we got a lot of occlusion. We got the sky and everything blocking out everything, even though you can see that both are magic leap scene and this are moving. And so how do we fix that? Well, Similar to HoloLens, uh, basically you want a black background because that will read as a zero alpha um, opacity, you know. So the way to do that in Unreal, if you don't know, <laughs> is basically delete your sky sphere. And then if you still see stuff, you probably have some kind of fog effect going, so delete your fog. And now that we're black, if I press play, that looks good. And here we are. See? Same idea here. So those objects are just kind of hanging out in our space. All right, just for fun, if you have the starter content, let's just throw a fire in here, because why not? Maybe I'll delete this one. Play. Oh yeah. Got some fire going in the room. Nice, okay. So I hope that was helpful. It's just a quick uh, getting started video. Um, in the next video, I'm just gonna go over uh, maybe one or two of the example maps that we're provided with, uh, and I hope that's helpful as well. So see you there again. I'm Alex Kuhn of Agile Lens Immersive Design, and I'll see you in the next video.